Hey everybody, this is John and Megan here, and uh, today we're going to do a video that is uh, showing me going into Goodwill. I'm actually going to wear this scuba mask in because they have a rule in their store that says that you can't go in and shop unless you're wearing a face mask of some kind. So I thought I would wear this scuba mask in and see if they'd let me in the door. So it's pretty interesting. Um, this is me actually walking towards the Goodwill with the uh, scuba mask on. And uh, I was hoping to be able to find some stuff there. I don't know how your guys' Goodwills have been lately, but ours have absolutely stunk. Um, I've only been there a handful of times since uh, I actually, uh, they implemented the face mask rule. And I did make it into the store with my face mask on. Uh, I get a few uh, funny glances at people as I am walking through the store wearing a snorkel mask. Uh, that was a pretty good machine. Uh, it was pretty uh, expensive though. My Goodwill, most of the stuff that they have there is way overpriced. As you can see, that quilt rack was like 16 bucks, and it was kind of wobbly. I always like to go over to the electronics items and kitchen items first to kind of see what they had. Uh, they had a first act guitar amplifier, but it was like 30 bucks. And then they had another smaller amplifier with a broken strap, and it was real cheaply made, so I passed on it. <clears throat> there was a couple of keyboards some coffee pots but I try not to uh, pick up that stuff it just doesn't sell too well for me um, and I did like this crucifix here this is actually one that the slides open and there'll be like candles and holy water in there but they had nine bucks on it and I think I can get about 18 out of them so I decided to pass on it so <clears throat> after I get done looking at the electronic stuff I like to walk over to the toy aisle if you can see the arrows on the floor I am um, being a little bit of a rebel and going and looking or walking in the wrong direction um, this is a uh, was one of those uh, I call them the BFG nerf guns it was missing the uh, the ammo the little ammo belt those sell pretty good on eBay if you ever run across those they're definitely worth picking up. <clears throat> if you can see here, a lot of the toys in this aisle are pretty um, few and far between. There was another really nice Nerf gun. Um, that clip was really nice. I should have bought that, but I didn't. It's kind of big, and my kids already have so many Nerf guns. Um, but I think that one was like 6 bucks. There's a lot of money to be made in Nerf products. Uh, the next section that I looked at over there was just the paper goods section where they put folders and different kinds of paper and whatnot uh, <clears throat> at this point I am telling you guys that uh, the stuff is pretty high and there's not a whole lot of good stuff here uh, that is the goodwill manager there one of the goodwill managers he is uh, just looking at me like I'm crazy and uh, there's Megan so hi hi Megan everyone say hi to Megan and you can tell that she uh, thinks I'm absolutely ridiculous too so I decided that I'm going to walk over and check out the media section um, but first I got preoccupied by uh, the deer um, I thought that was kind of cool it was a big inflatable deer it didn't stand up too well and uh, I don't know what you use one of those for I guess hunting I mean you couldn't shoot it because if you shot it it would be like the end of the deer <coughs> but uh, so I had to check yep it's a nice tail and yes it is a girl it's a girl deer it's a doe so that <laughs> I don't know. That was pretty. That was a pretty goofy item to have at Goodwill. One of the weirdest things I'd seen there in a while. If you can tell, our media section here is pretty shot. Uh, there's a box of toys. I was trying to see what was in there, um, and a broken piano. So you know, those are the uh, those are the great items at my Goodwill. But they used to carry a lot of VCR tapes. Sometimes you would find some good video games back here. Um, there was a Grand Theft Auto, World Poker. Uh, some racing game <coughs> and a VHS copy of Dr. Doolittle that was a pretty good find I did uh, I'm not sure if I picked them up or not I'm pretty sure that I did because they were like two bucks and they were brand new factory sealed and I do really well with bling VCR tape so whenever I find them I always try to pick them up that's a good bolo for you guys if you're uh, looking for um, if you're looking for something that definitely uh, will help uh, add a little money to your pocket but mm, I spend some time here looking trying to find anything sometimes I'll find a DVD um, sometimes I'll find books but Goodwill has gotten really good at their um, books at scanning their books so 
I hardly ever find anything good anymore. The only kind of books that I can typically find there are older books, um, stuff that are collectible. This was a whole stack of some kind of monster truck pennants, but I did not buy them. It was some kind of Cadillac truck. I don't know. They were 50 cents a piece, and I left them behind. <clears throat> I did like that little Christmas tree, though. If you guys seen that, that was pretty cool, but it, again, it was too expensive. And uh, that's me being ridiculous again, talking about my VCR tapes. And um, I am going back down the toy aisle here because I want to check out uh, the rest of the electronics that I couldn't get to earlier whenever there were some other people standing in the aisle. A couple printers, a record player down at the bottom that looked like garbage that they had like 40 bucks on. They're so high anymore. I don't know how Goodwill makes any money. Their prices are absolutely ridiculous on their electronic stuff. If anybody needs a cooker, there's you two of them right there. They're probably still there. <laughs> At this point, I'm just like wanting to get down that aisle, but there's a lady there, so I decide to walk around and um, once again check out stuff that I've already checked. <laughs> there's. You can tell the shelves are pretty bare. It's pretty gruesome. I don't know where at this point where I've decided to go back to. I might be going over to look at the... Uh, sometimes I'll go look at the blankets or the shoes. Looks like shoes it is. And as we walk down the shoe aisle, there is absolutely looks like nothing that's capturing my attention. Though I did see a pair of moccasin boots off to the right-hand side there. Sometimes I'll look at the purse. I'll try to find a fanny pack or something like that. Uh, fanny packs do really well for me on eBay. When people go on vacation, they love to take, <clears throat> put their stuff in a fanny pack. It kind of gives them a way of um, keeping stuff out of their pockets. My problem is I carry so much stuff in my pockets that it's hard to dig out the item that I want. And uh, sometimes fanny packs, uh, you don't mind wearing one when you're, you know, 400, 500 miles away from the house and uh, you will wear one um, when you're far far away from the house but you don't want to wear one <laughs> when you're there at that you know when you're when you're close to home and all your friends can see you uh, sporting that fanny pack and there was Megan again looking at the kids clothes so I decided to go up front and um, I guarantee you that <clears throat> I'm going up front to take a look at the hats because one of the things that I can still buy from Goodwill and make a decent amount of money on sometimes are hats and uh, uh, there were some in the window. There's a Callaway, a golf hat, Tennessee Titans, um, another Tennessee, and there's a some kind of uh, Darth or some kind of uh, uh, video or some kind of uh, a hat that was like Outlaw World of Outlaws or something like that. And there is a um, Golden State Warriors hat, which was pretty nice. Um, I can. Uh, they had, they had hats all lined up in the windows here, but some of the builds on them were bent funny, which is really weird because I've seen hats like that before, and that one was absolutely crusty inside, so I passed on it. But somebody bends their bills on some of these hats. They'll bend them in the middle, and then they bend the sides down, if you can kind of tell. I'm like, I don't think anybody's going to want a hat like that, so I just decided to grab those two, and I've still got my VCR tapes. Uh, one of the places that I always go right for is the uh, shirts. I love to look at the black shirts, see if there's anything good. Uh, black shirts typically are your concert t-shirts, really cool graphic tees. Um, they tend to be more popular. I look for stuff that catches my eye. And, um, you know, you can make a lot of money off of one vintage concert t-shirt. Sometimes you have to look at the white t-shirts and sometimes the gray t-shirts too. You can find some decent stuff there if you um can oh that's cool back to blue blessed are the peacemakers i like that um <clears throat> but there's not really a whole lot here their their stuff is pretty expensive this goodwill their shirts are like four bucks a piece and this is me checking out this lady in these blue pants um i don't know if she was on anything but she was pretty um she is pretty excited. Like, I don't know. You just have to watch her bounce around there. Um, and she turned around and looked at me and was like, Oh, God, I don't know if it's drugs or is that guy wearing a scuba mask. But 
I hate to be kind of judgmental, but I've worked in mental health for a while, and I just am. I just read everybody. <laughs> like, body language means a lot to me. And at this point, we are looking down at my feet and shoes in the case because I put the uh, camera down on the counter. And we're checking out uh, the few things that I picked up. There's my wife and her uh, wonderful new Adidas shoes. Um, I'm sure most of you guys have done left this video by now because there wasn't a whole lot here today. But it was just interesting to walk around Goodwill and um, see what kind of stuff they had. And... Um, the, at this point, the workers are like, why in the world are you wearing a mask? And I said, why in the world uh, not? I mean, I figured that this will keep stuff uh, from getting in my eyes and my nose and my and my mouth. And I figured it's probably a lot safer than a cloth mask that doesn't work. <laughs> and I know some of you guys are probably pro-maskers, and that's fine. You have your right to be. You wear your masks. But I am not a fan of wearing masks. I did end up getting that bunny rabbit. <clears throat> I paid three bucks for it, and uh, we um, ended up. Uh, I ended up paying three bucks for it, and I think I ended up putting it in the antique booth for like ten. I probably should have passed on it because it was just a big floppy-eared bunny rabbit. But I thought it was kind of cute, so I didn't. I I decided that uh, it was going to have to be something that would go home with me. And it did. I have a bad habit of buying stuff that I don't really need. And um, that's the end of the Goodwill trip. So we're going to leave and go out the door. And at this point, from wearing that mask, I was getting oxygen deprived. Uh, that was not a really good mask for uh, going shopping in. And on the way out, uh, some dude looked at me and... Um, You'll see him here in just a second. And he thought I was one of his other buddies. I don't know who the guy was. But um, it was pretty crazy. Here he is, right? I think I got him in the video. He'll be coming up. He's wearing a blue shirt. <coughs> there he is right there. He had to get up real close to see. You know, like, oh, man. I'm like, nope. Sorry, bro. It ain't me. But anyways, I appreciate you guys for watching the video. If you would, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. And um, I will be making a lot more videos like this in the future. Thank you for watching. Keep on digging. Keep on picking. God bless you guys. And remember, as always, the family that picks together will stick together. You guys have a good night. And God bless you. Thanks for watching.